Hello everybody, welcome to Super League Week 2. Um, what, um, the amazing thing about Week 1 is the o only three teams won and they were all Necromantics. That's funny, isn't it? Um, hopefully really? I can keep, oh yeah, my god. Yeah. Hopefully I can keep that going with my second match versus Seabrolls, who's won the toss and chosen to kick. In the booth is Dimmy G to take care of the commentary. I might, I might, honestly, I might keep my headset on and occasionally interject. Normally I take okay. my headset off and... Uh, and let people get to it, but with only doing by himself and me not really caring too much this season about Super League, I might not take it. Seriously. Oh, get your excuses in now, Jim. <laughs> yeah, he's feeling that he's feeling pressurised, and he's like, oh, "I don't care, I don't care, I don't, I don't care about this stupid fucking game." <laughs> you do. Was it was it the the NAF game, wasn't it, where yeah. you played the lizards? You really cared about that one, Jim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you know, look, we'll we'll see what happens, but. Uh, Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try for at least for a little bit until I lose interest. Interesting. That's mad about the uh, Necromantic actually winning every single game, uh, especially. I guess they n neither Necromantic team played against Nobility yet, though, so there is that. Um, and uh, yeah, I think the Dark Elves got a draw against Skaven in the first one. I think Jimmy beat Dwarves, which is probably one of the better matchups for the Necromantic. Uh, in a, an amazing game as well, so uh, guys, if you didn't see it, uh, it'll be on YouTube somewhere, but it was it was a really fun game, and uh, definitely worth a watch. Uh, you got three Blodge Assassins, uh, three Blodge Blitzers, and a Dodge Assassin. Is one of those... Has he got the fourth blitzer? I can't tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's got the fourth blitzer, which I believe is the one on the left. With a crouch down pose. And then he's obviously got a block and wrestle witch. Jimmy's just got uh, one wrestle wolf. Block wolf. Block ghoul. Skillless ghoul. And then two guard golems. Two guard wraiths. And interestingly, yeah, Seabor has decided to kick... Wants to defend with 11 elves. That's a very common thing. And also Necromantic are kind of like... They're kind of scrappy. Ooh. Got... 2 into 2 gets the POW. Lovely job. No armor break, of course. The Dublé POWs. Protect his wolf. Where's the blitz? <clears throat> Might even be... Uh... Oh, in he goes. Ah, three dice blitz with a golem. And then with the follow, it protects the wolf even more. I see. I see. And then he's got, like, the guard sandwich. <clears throat> Interesting, if you put in a foul, he's not tempted. I guess it's kind of iffy. No dirty player. Oh. <clears throat> Seabull's case, yeah. If you watch, if you did watch uh, Seabull's last game, he was like, if if there was a rowdy scale, I think he was about 110 percent on the rowdy scale. Like he, like I've not seen Seabull's play Dark Elves before, but um, he definitely was a lot more aggressive than I thought. Like he was definitely on the Anarian sort of esque elf scale rather than. I guess who, who's more kind of uh, reserved on the elves? I'd say like any odd plane elves. But there was definitely some cage dives going on. There was definitely some uh, lot like a million rushes. Like he did like 17 rushes in one turn. <laughs> well, I say 17. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but you know. Here we go, Dark Elves first turn, what are we going to do? Not really much on here, he's got the sidestepper. It looks like he's going to blitz the foul appearance. 
Maybe he goes for the stab, no. Oh my god, he's double skulled. Uh, it's too early for a reroll, surely. But, tempting. He's got three rerolls, which isn't bad for Dark Elves either, so. Does put the reroll in, gets the pal. But that is the Blitz U, so he doesn't get to hit the wolf. No armor break. So, re-roll down for Sea Brawls, Jim will be kind of happy with that, I think. Just shuffling over, nothing much to do. He's also, he's only he's only got a 3 plus dodge out for that Dark Elf Lion, so I don't even think he'll bother. And the, uh, the legendary haired Witch Elf is uh, just going to chill. So this is awkward because uh, Seabor's has set up a frenzy trap for the werewolf of sorts. It would be two into one. This freezes wolf, I guess. Well, would it if he powered. Oh, this is nice, yeah, so now he can, yeah, I think I see, he's just going to knock it backwards, which is maximising the claw, right? Oh, that's actually, I mean, if he gets the power on the second one, it's kind of good, in a way. Just, uh, just a push, unfortunately. But it means he gets his wolf free, or freer. But there is also a Dark Elf in his backfield that's blodged. <laughs> <laughs> there is that as well. And he has used his Blitz. Yeah. I guess he gets what? He gets a 2D with a Ghoul, then a 2D with the Golem, and then a 2D with the... So only, only Jim could fail to roll a POW on... 10 dice, I guess it is. <laughs> he's at 6 at the moment. Oh, he's doing it that way. That's 8. Blodge is quite good, isn't it, guys? Blodge is quite good. Oh, he gets the double powers. On the 9th and 10th dice. Oh, and that's an armor break. That animation. Honestly. Just a stun. Sigh of relief from Seabors. Has got an Apo. Jimmy's obviously regen. Free reroll. <coughs> Nothing much happening at the moment. It's only obviously turn two. Oh, foul appearance. It's been pretty good for uh, Jim so far, the old foul appearance. Does get another bite of the cherry. I wonder if he's going to try and punch the golem. He might go for the blitz stab and then follow up here. Oh, oh he's going with the witch. So I, I believe he's going with the witch because she's got... Or maybe just takes the punch. So now he's got the 2 plus out for the Lino. He hasn't blitzed yet, has he? Where's he blitzing? I don't see a blitz now. He could go for that Lino. Just stand his Lino up and then blitz it. First tire step on the ball. Oh my god, that's horrendous. And that is... Uh... <laughs> Instant full dicing. Oh, no. he didn't regen. Oh just my lost. god. This lost. Instant loss. Oh, I gave away a 2 dB. Flip me, guys. Yeah, that's pretty rough. And then I'm probably going to bludger on the ball, I guess. 
I mean, I hope he puts a bludger on the ball. Oh my god, oh, and that's not reach it either, <laughs> it's <over>. is it? <laughs> Too late, Steve, too late, Steve, it's over. Never mind. Well, it was fun for a second, wasn't it? Uh, what was the what was the player's name there? <laughs> Confidence is key, Jim. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh dear. I mean, he's definitely got a lot of confidence if uh, the comments about, was it 70% to beat uh, the, the the rats, wasn't it? 70% to beat the rats. Yeah, he thought he was going to roll like this, didn't he? That was, that, oh. was, that was the thing. His bludgers. Yeah, a flesh golem Kaz on turn two is with no regen, and then followed by a Zombie cares no regen. Is it 11 players you got? Nah, I've got 12. You got 12. Nah, it's just an instant loss. Like it's just stupid, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's. I'd love to say it's. It's not over. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, Elliot's not here. I just gotta hope he's gonna go for a 1D and then lose because he does that. As well. There's nothing I can do. It's just, it's just literally just a loss. Well, at least it's quick, isn't it? We can get to play Among Us sooner. It's a horrible matchup when you're down players. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just stu it's stupid. Like, it's too early, right? It's just too early. To be two players down on turn fucking three, it's 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 over. And, it's, like, this game your main over. player, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's totally over. Like, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating or anything. It's just, it's just fucking over. <laughs> you got fucking six bludgers. <laughs> Hey, five actually, five bludgers, isn't he? Five bludgers and a dodger. He's player two players up. It's just instant, instant loss. Was there any dark elves in Super League last? There wasn't any dark elves no. in Super League last season, was no. there? No. Yeah, what a surprise. Mm. Looking pretty good right now. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, playing against them on uh, tabletop at Davos, I was just like, "Oh, this is horrendous." <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, Hiru thought it was horrendous playing against Necro last game, right? Like it just, it dicings are dicings. Yeah, aren't yeah, it? yeah. Okay. Is what it is. So knocks everything over. Of course he does. Why would he ever not roll a pal? Kill elves, get more pieces. <laughs> mm. Oh, flesh golem not dying. Addy, Addy's been playing Blood Bowl. Amazing. <laughs> I'm having a long look at this one. Yeah, I don't think any of them work out well for him, which is why I didn't stand for him. <laughs> yeah, I thought that's where it was going. I can't put my fucking thing in there because that's where I want to blitz from. <laughs> God. Like, I want to blitz with this guy so I can't get past, can I? Oh, what a fucking disaster. I hate that. It's a pal. I just got to try and get this half. Nil nil. That's literally all I can do. Oh, 
stupid is that? Absolutely fucked. It's res, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I imagine it wasn't Rez, oh my god. Why did you have it with It was just a serious injury, right? Which is like, uh. Is it a head injury? Like, is that where the, the niggle is it? I niggled, yeah. Yeah. So, he will be back for Jim's next game. <laughs> Thankfully, otherwise, instant quit the Super League. I mean, it, I think the league would be a bit shit if, if you could. It would be first, horrendous. But, uh, uh, this is the the Rez is just so much better, yeah. Yeah, this is the best. We have fair games every round. Fair, <laughs> in inverted commas. Yeah, it's it's they start fair. <laughs> <laughs> it was fair two turns ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was fair. It was fair. It was fair. So how much? We how much is the, the uh, How much is a rusted golem? Well, you would have gone on defense as well, would you? No. Uh, yeah, well, you, you would have gone on offense. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Interesting. But I mean, like my first turn was shit, wasn't it? Or for like removals? Or? Yeah, I didn't do anything. You know, like I didn't make break armor at all, and then I had to blitz a guy who I didn't knock over. It was just, it was just instant, instant garbage. Instant despair. Yeah. Hello, Frost Lord. Rusty AF, yeah, man, it's quite mad how rusty you can get at Blood Bowl. I guess a lot of it is the UI as well, though. Like some of it is really can't. I remember conceding the game once because I couldn't figure out how to use a chainsaw, and then <laughs> I was just like, I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> but, like, I ran up to him and like one D blocked him, and but instead of chainsawing him and then cast myself, and <laughs> then I just conceded. <laughs> Or like try to figure out how to throw teammate for the first time ever, like that surrendous as well. Jump over a player. Anything that you have to bring that wheel up for basically. Mm. There's no humans this season, is there? Nope. I guess it was the uh seven orc teams last season might put them off. Yeah, maybe a little bit. <sighs> Just remember, Jim. Confidence is a key. <laughs> <clears throat> time griefing your time, time for aim. I mean, the problem is with the uh, ladder is like time griefing is actually the way to do it because you get the ban if you concede. Like they're actively encouraging time griefing, which is horrendous. Because like, I had a game earlier where I couldn't concede because if I conceded, I would have got like a two-hour ban. And obviously, when you're streaming, that's the last thing you want. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't stream. Well, you've got unless you keep, of course. In which case, it's like the best <laughs> thing ever. You could pass turn, yeah. But then, why pass turn when you can just go to the shop and do something? Exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. It's so fucking stupid. Like, I fucking hate the mentality like, that a lot of people have. Yeah. Like, get some self-respect and don't waste your fucking life. On a yeah. fucking pointless little kids game that no one gives a fuck about. Like, at least if you're ent entertaining yourself, sure, but not on the fucking integrity of it. Like, fuck off. <laughs> it's pathetic, isn't it? It's absolutely pathetic. If you don't, if you're doing something for fun, do it for fun. If you're not having fun, just stop. Like, it's pretty yeah, fucking easy, isn't it? Yeah. The conceit thing is just like, I think it's too strict. Yeah, they have it. They they have it on the gamble gamble away, don't they? When it's when it's what is it? When it's not fun, stop or something like that. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the gambling thing. Yeah. So, but oh, it's different though. If it's fucking blood ball, then you've just got to fucking stay and be fucking tortured. It's fucking idiotic. Yeah. Oh, oh my Jesus god. Jesus Christ. Man. Yeah, when the fun stops, stop. That's the one. Thank you. I mean, when is gambling ever fun? Like, honestly, like, <laughs> like you just. There I, I find it makes things more fun, right? Like, you know, like, if you're watching, like, the NFL or whatever, 
and you got a fiver on yeah, someone. Yeah, even the even best. just a fiver, yeah. then at least at least it like makes it like something somewhat more interesting. Mate, there was a geezer I used to work with, right? And he was like, he was quite a successful bloke, like ex banker, and like he used to just bet like three grand on cricket, like but like by the over or something like that, like or like like you know like sure things, like yeah. he'd bet on tennis like for whoever's serving to win the game and stuff but he'd bet like stupidly large amounts of money because you have to because they're so likely to come in do you know what i mean yeah yeah. and like he was just a nervous wreck like constantly (laughs) like (laughs) (laughs) he had a proper like i I, looking back at it he probably had an actual proper gambling Mm. problem but And like, he, you know, like just one of them guys that every time you try and talk to him, like he's there, but he's not really there. He's <laughs> 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 in the gambling, like. Here we go. Turn six. Yeah, I could do things here. Believe it or not. How many games of Blood Bowl have you played, Ali? In, implement the correct concede rules there. Yeah. Like honestly, it's it's at the mo- it's it's not quite right at the moment. I don't think the problem the problem with it as well is like the matches are so uneven as well. So like you're spinning into games that like you're very likely to lose, and like you you'll know in like a matter of turns whether you're going to lose or not. <clears throat> like if you're spinning like 200 TV down to orcs and your humans, and they've got almighty blow, and then like you've like double sculled your, your first block or whatever, and then they've removed two players, but then you can't concede because if you do, you get banned. It's just bonkers. It's the pal. This is literally. I didn't think that through. That's literally right where my guy is. Fuck me. Yep. I was not. I was uh, curious about that one. I should have bought with this guy. I didn't think it through. I'm not really. I'm not. I'm not paying attention at all now, to be honest. TBH. No, no I don't give. I don't. I give absolutely zero fucks right now. Oh. Howdy. Boy, howdy. Oh, huge three plus. Of course he fails it. Then six. <coughs> oh, an absolute fucking disaster. He had a nice two day ban. How how many concedes is a two day ban? Someone was telling me it's not even that many. No, it's 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 pretty easy. Anyway, I'm gonna try and concentrate. <laughs> I can do my head in because yeah. I do I'd hate losing and I just do my head in. Yeah, alright, alright, you you focus. Big elf screen. No delfs left the pitch so far. Wolf gets powered. 15 minute, one hour, two hour, one day, two day. So you got banned for a day, came back and conceded and then got banned for two days, right? Should have just time griefed. And I mean that like as a joke, but obviously it probably is. Didn't play for like a week. Oh right, and then because it's in the 10 game window. The goal is fine. Came back, played, got free removed early, so just conceded. Uh... It's pretty brutal. It would be interesting to see the data on how many people like are banned like currently, and how long they're banned for.
I guess it I guess it probably like increases over the weekends. Or how many come back, yeah. I mean surely you can see average amount of players and all that. Oh my gosh. Double skulls into power. Can he chip an elf? Nope. One in nine's the uh armor. <clears throat> Punch an assassin. Is it possible to see determining concedes in the match results data returned from the API? I have no idea. <clears throat> Hello kind sir. If you've just joined, in quick summary, uh, Seabors won the toss, he decided to kick to Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy took some LOS blocks. And then, not turn one, but yeah, turn two. There were two Kaz, one on a Flesh Golem, no regen, and one on a Zombie, no regen. And then, since that point, Jimmy's just been kind of turtled, trying to get the game in at nil-nil for half-time. He has got one bench, so he'll be up to ten for the second half, but he'll be down a Golem. And, uh... It's been pretty rough. <coughs> We've been stuck in this kind of mosh pit so Seabors needs to be thinking about scoring threats here he's going the wrong way Jim of course cannot score so if someone's going to roll some dice it'll be this turn It's the power on the goal. Oh dear. Jim capped at nine. This <laughs> <laughs> comedy. I've already lost so I can come back. <laughs> I can't lose me. At least I haven't got scored on yet. But out of re-rolls is fucking horrendous. I mean, you've only got one turn. Yeah, but I mean, I, I know I've only got one turn, but I can still just fucking fail the first thing I do and get scored on, right? Like, I'm not out of the woods, this is the thing. If I had one re-roll left, I'd probably be okay. He hasn't... Like, he should have put a threat in already, to be honest he's with you. He's got this lineman, hasn't he? But he's got this guy yeah. as well. And he's got the witch out. Yeah, but I would have liked to see them in a bit earlier if I was being hypercritical. And why wouldn't you be hypercritical when you've absolutely dicked on somebody? You should, you should probably do a better <laughs> job than this. <laughs> what an absolute idiot! What was he thinking? What a fucking loon! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, he's not going in at oh, the brilliant. Door. What the absolutely hell? brilliant. Hello, Tren. Just oh, in time to see me dice to fuck <laughs> for a change. Oh, surfy, surfy. Nah, I can't, I can't even surf him. <coughs> no, I just can't. Went to get a drink, so not sure. We're... I mean, I can try and surf him. It's honestly like probably not even that bad right now. When you think this is one of the guys who can score against me, right? Well, there is that. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, so he's gonna instantly just get to jump up and stab me. Amazing. Oh, amazing! <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. <laughs> makes, the, makes the dodge. That's a huge dodge. 
Doesn't get the knockdown. <sighs> Fuck me. Oh. But what the fuck can I do? Uh, I would have took the wrestle. Uh. And that's why you're better than me. <laughs> I mean, if I'm gonna wrestle, I'm gonna wrestle it like wrestling shit anyway, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's not yeah, good. it's just the it's the just putting another score in for it, isn't it? That's the the thing, right? Jesus Christ! Absolutely fucked. Oh, there was. Yeah, but the, the, wrestle was, the wrestle was bad enough, I thought, honestly. Like, I should have done this one first anyway. I should have done this one first. Though. So the question is, surf the wolf or score? He's got and to try looks, and score, but it's not easy for him, is it? Uh, it looks like he's going to surf the wolf, is it? Surf the ghoul, sorry. Oh, my God, what is that? Well, oh, it wasn't the screen, oh, because I followed. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, mistakes were made, so... Yeah. Mm. You had to follow, though, oh. once you got the push. It was, no, I uh... didn't, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> it's not been... Jeez. He can't go Steve out, he has to go back. I don't know why he's thinking. This has got to go straight down. Wow, he didn't Shit. go straight down. Yeah, that was terrible. Because he had the blodger right there to run down, and yeah, then he could just, like a, just hand it off. Just like a 3 2 to get through. Yeah, that was definitely. So now he's passing with a Lion 4 plus passing? No, think? maybe not actually, because if, if like, he pushed it here and it went there or there, like if it went one of these three squares, it'd be pretty shit, wouldn't it? So. But then you've also got the problem that the assassin and the wolf might catch it. Yeah. So if you're going to go to the sideline, you go to the. And if it goes here, it's perfect, right? So it's a one in three of being amazing. And it's, yeah. if it goes there, it's totally fine. So he, he got the worst result he could have got. What's he doing now? I don't know, Jeff. Oh, setting up the hit on that, maybe? I don't know. No, it's the sidestep. I, don't know I mean, it's is the bubble box bubble to box. hand off the line. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you can do it with double G if I hand off. Yeah. So it'll be two plus, two plus, two plus, two plus, three plus, two plus. Oh, that's good. Cool. One re-roll down. Oh, makes I, forgot, I forgot to dodge in there as well. And a oh. GFI. He could roll a one. No. He's rolled a five. Brilliant. Nice screen, Jim. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't my best moment. <laughs> Sorry. Battling all half to not get scored on and then just fucking followed. Oh, God. I mean, I haven't really paid much attention. Like, I really haven't fucking paid it's much It's really attention hard, like, mentally. Was, yeah, it was just over turn one. Like, it was Honestly, yeah, like, uh, it's, it's turn like... Turn whatever it was over. It's so hard, like, it's so shit as well, like, when it's a good game. But we haven't really seen a Dyson this bad, I don't think, so far. But then again, that kind of shows the Necro weakness, right? You, if you do hit, like, one of their key pieces, like, it's... Yeah, the best players are, like, the ones that get hit, right? Like, the Fleshies and the Whites, so, the Wraiths. The Wraiths yeah, and the Fleshies. Yeah, because you're deliberately putting them in places that they cause trouble, right? Yeah, and exactly, yeah. So, you're so they've got no choice but to hit them, yeah. Especially mm -hmm. when they haven't got block as well, like, you got... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's tough. And it's like the games you do well is when they don't get smashed and... Yeah, if I had removed yeah. two players on turn three, then this would be... Not only would it have been a win, <laughs> I would have probably smashed his team to bits with, like, repeated claw hits, right? So like, like not not a win. Like the the the, I would be one nil up as a one nil down. But it also probably translated to a win because I would have removed more and more players. He, yeah, he, the snowball. Yeah, snowball. the snowball better than anyone in Necro, I think. Better than anyone. Mm, in terms of like to their normal, their normal performance compared to when they're up oh, players, right. because. Not when you saw it here, like one of some down players, he just, he just, you know, he's messing with my wolves and like stopping them hitting properly and stuff. 
But like, if I'm players up, then my wolves are just teeing off on him every single turn, and it's just brutal. And they're hard to get away from because of the sidestep and the movement eight. Yeah, yeah, they're they're amazing when they're up, and really terrible when they're down. <laughs> Very swingy team. I mean, I don't really like them, but they're like I just thought. First of all, I like I do think the seven guard orcs are better. But it's a bit different for the stream, and it is a very good package, obviously. Like, I, I would say Necro maybe is the second best, so I thought I'll go with the second best, so it's a bit different than the best. But I think, I, I think if you know, if this was still for a World Cup ticket, I would have gone Orcs again. <laughs> I mean, Orcs was looking pretty nice, mm -hmm. not gonna lie, they're yeah. looking pretty nice. I mean, they're a good team, they are a really good team, they are a very good team, Super like consistent. I think they <clears throat> probably slept on a little bit on bubble three, probably, but that's yeah. obviously a lot to do with ladder. It's just people like, like bashing, don't they? At the end of the day, people just like bashing. Like bashing yeah, people don't like so being down to six players, and people love having like being up by four players, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, when you're the necro and you're the one that downs players, you're pretty fucked. But yeah, that's it. Like Chaos and Orcs have always been the most played teams on Blood Bowl too. But Chaos, like Chaos, team. are the coolest team in Blood Bowl. Like I don't care what anyone says. Yeah. Like Chaos are hands down the coolest team on Blood Bowl. Hands down. Like when I first bought Blood Bowl, and I was like, oh my god, Beastman Linos. I was just <laughs> like, I like I played three hundred and fifty games of Chaos before I played any of a race. Like. <laughs> And I didn't even know about I didn't know about Clawpom or anything. I didn't know what the meta was. It was just like I was a huge Beastman fan from my uh, Total War Warhammer days, anyway, because they like thematically like Beast Men. Like holy shit! Like how cool is that? <laughs> like honestly, beast like how men. cool is yeah? <laughs> like how cool is that? Yeah. Wow, this is. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jim. This is looking grim. Dimmy loves knobs and beast man. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Cold shower, absolutely. Cold showers are amazing, by the way. If anyone's not on the cold showers, get on the cold showers. They're horrible while you're in them, but you feel amazing when you're out of them. So it's a witch, 1D, full pack. Dead, dead, dead. Not dead, absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously I've got nothing to cover from coming out the other way. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god, then one in nine. Wonderful. Yeah, heroin. Yeah, but I mean, a cold shower and heroin are like kind of a little bit different. Like, <clears throat> serious injury? I'd never try heroin just because I don't like needles, honestly. That's the biggest thing. <laughs> great chat. Great chat, Jim. <laughs> yeah, like, that's the biggest thing for me. I, I don't like needles. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Post the lino. Oh, this is actually semi interesting. This is interesting for like a second. Yeah. Obviously, it. there's a couple of two plus. Fuck oh, me. Yeah. If that had been his dice, it would have been interesting. <sighs> Fuck off. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, I love Blood Bowl. Uh, have, have you got any heroin, Jimmy? <laughs> I'm about to okay, overcome, I'm about okay, to overcome my, my favourite of needles. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to put on perfect day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's such a perfect day. Oh man, what a great movie. Oh, I'm done. Yeah. Absolutely done. Well, at, at least, funny. at least we've got, at least we've got Among Us to look forward to instead of this shit. Oh my god, it was so good. 
It's almost hope here. Dub scores KO'd. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Best game ever made. <laughs> Oh look, he can walk th straight through because my guy's not stood there anymore. Wonderful. <laughs> I mean, it's been an absolute masterclass from Seaboard, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> don't know about that, but yeah. <laughs> in, certainly in terms of rolling, yeah. Absolute masterclass, though. I wish I was as good as Seaboard. <laughs> when the fun stops, stop! <laughs> That would have been about an hour ago, um, but you know. Wow, I'm having fun, so. Yeah. I'm just doing this for you, to oh. you get to look at your beast. Oh! Room. Oh! Did he stack them? Yeah, he stacked them. He stacked them. Okay. Game on. <laughs> <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> So a 1D that into a 2D, and then, uh... Oh, God, no, I need another fucking player. I need too many players. I've got no fucking players. Well, you got... Eight? No, I, wanted, actually... I wanted to chain. I wanted to chain my uh, white into there, wraith into there. But it's never going to happen. Uh... It's not over. Don't say it's over. It's not over. It might be in a turn, but it's not over right this second. It's not over yet. What a fucking banger that was, wasn't it? So... I guess Seabull drawing his first game is, like, the best thing for you <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't really have anything good going for me at all. I don't want to go here or not because that kind of makes it too easy. I don't know. I think it's the only place I can go. Faith in foul appearance. Hmm. Oh my god. Everything's failed. <laughs> oh! A bit late for that to be a good thing. Skull. Don't care. Oh, okay, now, now it's a 2 plus out and a 2 plus handoff and a GG! Over and it's over. One, two, three. See, it's over. Okay. I'd really just concede. If it if I wasn't streaming, I'd just concede this. It's it's, it's over. I mean, it was over turn two. Hang on, that was. Oh no, it just means he has to dodge one more time, right? I don't know. I'm not watching. <laughs> Yeah, just because I, I thought like I thought he was just gonna two D. Oh no, he's got guard, isn't he? So he couldn't two D the zombie. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, just two plus two pluses with dodge, hands off, <laughs> score. Yeah, maybe I should have stood that guy up, but I wanted to move him in, obviously after. All. What the fuck is that? Is <laughs> not good. Don't worry, you won't feel anything. That's really... Yeah, it wasn't good, was it? That was... This is the problem with being like so far ahead as well, it's so easy to fucking switch off. Don't worry, you can just roll some fucking threes and twos and be fine. <laughs> we, he just had a 2-2 two -two out with built-in reroll and now he's... made it worse? Oh no, if you follow... Well, yeah. Oh, so he's trying to come through the front. I oh, know it's a free two out the front, I guess. Well, four, yeah. isn't it? You didn't pound me. 
Oh, he hit with that guy. Sorry, I thought he hit with the lino below the guard, but obviously he couldn't have done because he had guard. Mm. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? What the fuck has he done this turn? <laughs> Jesus Christ, he poor man. <laughs> I guess he's one new up, so like the chance yeah. of you scoring is like zero. Yeah, and I'm down to one reroll. I mean, you could just hand off to a Rafe Banto. <laughs> 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 Oh, I guess he does the 2 plus dodge with the lino and then does the 3 2 through yeah. with the ball. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, that was an absolutely horrendous turn. Yeah, it was a shit show, yeah. I guess the wrestle on the witch is kind of likely to, uh, to work. Go back and tag the wolves, no? Always roll the 1, yeah. down to 1 re roll. Oh my god, huge three. Yeah, easy. He's got. Is this worth it? Yeah, I guess you can just chill. Yeah. I mean, you might as well do That it, turn was incredible. We would roll the one, G4. Right, so. <laughs> Oh, he's dodged him out, so yeah, you haven't got the chain to chain the got golem into range. Yeah. Oh, I didn't power him. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, I can get there. Oh, me I see. Chance. Oh, God. Christ, there's, man! Imagine just. There's, there's no chance, Jimmy. <laughs> this would be absolute cinema. Two plus, two plus. Wait. Makes it, makes it. This one needs a power, really. Three dice gets the full pow. Oh, I thought you need to press stand firm there. <laughs> <laughs> That would have sucked, wouldn't it? Alright. 2 plus 2 plus. All Instant pow. One. Instant one. All the apples. He's made yeah. the first two. <laughs> and then he's rolled a load of ones. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the, the, way, the way he went down was hilarious. Like, he, like, he's like waddling and then he's like stops and then he like falls over backwards. Yeah. Oh, Is yeah. a touchdowns a thing in this? Cause, yeah, uh, touchdown difference. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh three dear. nils. Three nils looking rather likely oh right dear. now. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, I'm just going to try and avoid the three nil now. Fuck me. Ball on a bludger. <laughs> it's about all I can do. <laughs> Fuck me. What's going on with this score at the top? Um, well, you see, a normal company would think that maybe telling you know telling you what turn it was in a turn-based game would be important, or telling you what the score was in a sports game would be important. But Cyanide have decided that actually neither of those things are important at all. So um, they just have they just have tell you the wrong turns and the wrong score. Because, I know. wonder what actually caused that though, because it's like it was it's never had that happen, is it? Like it was it when they fixed the invisible player they reversed yeah. the score. <laughs> yeah. Like how it, how it, does that affect that? Like it's <laughs> madness. Yep. What turn is it? It's Jim's turn twelve. Yeah, I mean the turns right in this. It's not. It's often not right. It's right in this game, but it's often not right. And the score is uh, definitely incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, the score couldn't be more incorrect. See, that's the thing with Blood Bowl, right? I know you hate losing, but like when it's like this, you just gotta like shrug and go, yeah. Yeah, at least when it's this bad. It's part you of the game. Right? It, yeah, part you can laugh game. at it when it's this fucking stupid. It's uh, it's not like like the, I find the hardest ones to take is when I know I've made a massive error, like leaving a free gap space in your screen. But or... then at least then at least you know you've done it yourself, right? So like I, I don't hear them as much. I just you know I kick myself a bit, but it's not that bad. I just find it really annoying when like you're playing somebody who's terrible. And the only and chance they've got is if they dice the pants off you, and they dice the pants off you, and yeah. then then insult you for you being lucky. <laughs> Which happened because they're rubbish. Obviously, they don't realise how lucky they're getting or how bad they are. I guess, and yeah. then they just they just have a go at you for how lucky you are, and you're like, oh my god, you've diced me to death, <laughs> and you've got the cheek to fucking do it. It does not give you that score at the end, tragically. Tragically, imagine it just gave you a 2-0 win. Oh <laughs> It'd be incredible, wouldn't it? All of a sudden I'd love cyanide. <laughs> Bish, bosh, bash. Bosh. It's Gav Coleman. I, I played against Gav Coleman at tabletop, and every time he rolled a power, he was like, bosh. <laughs> but but I, I was playing undead against his chaos, and then, like, it, like the boshes got quieter and quieter. And, like, more and more of his players died. Bosh. <laughs> bosh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's great. And then I said to him, I was like, how come you're playing Chaos? And he was like, oh, they're just my fun team. <laughs> and, I went, and I said to him, I was like, yeah, it looks like you had a lot of fun here, mate. Woo-hey! Hey, <laughs> Bosh! <laughs> he, he was the only guy I beat that weekend as well. <laughs> I yeah, had an absolute it's... stinker that weekend. Oh, my God. And yeah, like awesome. this is this is how much I like. I diced Hiru to death. Hiru did amazing to only lose two two nil. Honestly, like to like to make yeah. it close, like, he did amazing. Like I, I diced the pants off Hiru. So like this is really no worse than what happened in that other game. Obviously, it feels worse to me because I'm the one losing. But it's it dice wise, it's it's no different. Who hey, what? Gav Coleman is your dice tower nemesis. I never knew Gav took. He never used a dice tower against me. I think he hand rolled though, which was oh, a disgusting hand roll. I think he. I. I don't. I'm not gonna like out him. Slander as a him. Yeah, Slander just, him as a filthy just, hand roller. Just in case I'm incorrect, he he might he might not have been, but like the, and like to be fair, I was drinking at the time, so the memory was <laughs> not not as quite as sharp as it is nowadays. It's quite funny how I, I don't really, like, <clears throat> when I first started playing tabletop, I remembered all of my games. Like, now I've got to the point where I've played a lot of games, so there's quite a few games that I don't remember, but I always remember the hand rollers. <laughs> I remember every single hand roller that I played against, because, like, the rage inside me just brewing for the two and a half hours, like, every time they rolled 11s and they didn't roll properly. Oh, mm. my God. Yeah, that's why I that's why I like not going to too many football games. I always thought if like if I'd have if I had like a season ticket, it would just be shit because I'd go to like fucking so many games that I wouldn't remember any of them. Yeah. I guess yeah, it makes it less special when it's like Yeah, I can time. I've only been to like a handful of games, but I remember like I remember lots about all of them whereas yeah. I've only been to like three, I think. Well, I, I I used to go to quite a lot of Leighton Orient, um, because that was like the Division Three team, like that my mate's dad had a ticket for that was like two quid or whatever. <laughs> 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 I've been I've been to three Arsenal games, mm -hmm. and I can tell you all of them. In fact, I I, I saw um, uh, Ajax Arsenal, I saw uh, Luton, and I saw Brighton. Mm -hmm. Do the Emirates one at Highbury. One one draw versus Ajax. I think it was two one win versus Brighton. 
Glorious. Need a one nil win versus no, I won't the loon game is so boring. Until oh, I'm God, victorious. So boring. <laughs> I took my I son as well. It was like his defend. first ever like Premiership football match, and Christo it was the most boring hello, game ever. Aaron. They didn't even play Saka as well. I was like <laughs> talking about. I was talking about Saka the whole way there and how great he was, and then you didn't even play him. F I can't do anything in this game. Oh my god! I just have to sit and fucking try for the draw. I was gonna let you know blitz through the draw. <laughs> the draw. Sorry, the two nil. The two nil. Oh my god! I didn't even see he was based. <laughs> He's lost <laughs> his head, guys. The two nil loss. I've got to accept the two nil loss and try and not lose three nil. Uh, how fucking pathetic can you get? Do, do, do you know what you remind me of, Jib? Right? They were, like I used to work with my old man, <clears throat> and uh, like we used to pit CCTV, and like we all, we often used the cherry picker. Uh, and like my dad was driving this cherry picker and like he reversed into a car in a car park and then he just lost his head and he just kept driving forward and then reversing <laughs> into it again and driving forward and reversing it like he reversed into this game of car like three times <laughs> and then one of the other blokes that we worked with him was like what are you doing and just like slapped him dragged him out of the van and then like drove the van out for him and he just came out and he was like all wad like waddling about all like dazed and confused like he just completely lost his head it was hilarious yeah I mean I lost it after, after like the second turn or whatever I was totally zoned out maybe I could have you know played amazing and got something out of it but I fucking doubt it maybe uh maybe you change one of your wraiths into range so you can hand off to the wraith yeah and, uh... <laughs> Here we go, double uphill pals, I'm calling it now. Oh, no, basically. Oh, no, 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 I've got dodge. Yeah. Oh, but then he gets more hits, doesn't he? Fuck. Yeah, but it's still... It's not over. Oh, it nearly is now. That's the best direction he's going to yeah. get. Yeah, it's over now. Has he put you in range? No. Uh... No, you need to, yeah. Uh... Harry Kane on corners now. No, oh, mate, yeah. Harry Kane, that player. He, oh. Just classic England player. Has the like an amazing career and does nothing for England. He's like <laughs> Frank Lampard and Steven Gerrard. Good old Frankie Lamps. <laughs> to be fair, Lampard like had his moments like for England, whereas Gerrard didn't really. Oh, is this? I don't know. <laughs> it, I mean, it is, but, like, it's also, yeah. That rolled oh, away. Instant one. Just impossible to enjoy this game. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, there you go. Absolute comedy mega. But I diced here, so it's all right, isn't it? And, uh... GG. Yeah, massive, massive congratulations to Seabors. I think yeah. he played exceptionally well and uh, completely outplayed his opponent. And, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't do well at all, obviously. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's easy to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I'm, I'm much more excited about playing Among Us. So, um, you know, uh, GG, well played, Seabors. Congrats. And uh, unfortunately, Necros have now not won every game. <laughs> <laughs> that was a loss, um, but you know, um, interesting still, isn't it? Interesting because now Seabros win the draw. Who did he draw against in the first game? He drew against Seoul, wasn't it? In no, yeah. yeah, he could be on. He could be on on route to top the group. Who knows? Um, well, he's got. I mean, he hasn't played knob yet though, has he? So, you know, that's true. That's going to be the real test. Yeah, that will be the real test. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was the table, but yeah, now that puts obviously. Uh, Obviously, Seabros is now top on three points, and it'll be very interesting to see what happens as we continue. Um, but thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you very much, Dimmy. Glorious having you in the booth. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> sorry, sorry, it wasn't fun for you. But, yeah, yeah, well, it's all right, isn't it? And uh, <laughs> thank you for doing it, and you made it a little bit fun for me. And uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.